Padawan turned punk rocker has to do a last ditch concert to save his buddy. May the visions be with you. Hey there, Nomads of Lore. I'm Sean. And I'm Jonathan. And together we are Mead and Mischief, your home away from no home. Today we're going to be talking about episode two of the Visions Anthology series, Tatooine Rhapsody. Uh, this is part of our, how many episodes are there? Eight? Right? Eight, I believe. Eight yeah. episode series of uh, talking about Visions. We're going to kind of go through every episode and talk about a few things, kind of give you some summaries and give you kind of what we liked and didn't like and who, whether we felt like this was for us or not or whatever else and, and a few other thoughts and things and feelings and vibes. <laughs> and yeah, all that. Uh, we should note that this is going to be spoiler free for everything from... Filled. E spoiler fee free. Spoiler filled. filled. This will contain spoilers for episode two and only episode two. It won't spoil any of the other ones. Uh, it won't special all the episode, the first episode. This, as we're going to, I'm sure, discuss in more greater detail uh, soon, it, this is very much an anthology series, clearly. These are very different, very different episodes. And uh, spoiler, they are different target audiences, <laughs> I think. And, and so, yeah. yeah. So we're going get to get into it. We'll start with, with uh, what, what you liked and initial thoughts. And, okay. All right. So else. initial yeah. thoughts. Uh, it, it, the uh, art style is very much like uh, more like a, a child's cartoon. Um, yeah. I, I like very big bubbly eyes and bubbly characters. Like um, I'm trying to, I was trying it's to think like of like what you, what you it's like when people, the when people stereotype anime or when they, Try yeah, to make something manga, into yeah. It, turn into yeah. anime, then they do the this this look. kind of character. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it uh, it it was not bad by any means. It was it was different, very different from the first art style, yep. obviously. Yeah. Um, and and it was good. Um, I don't know how well it translated, but there was a lot less Star War Star Wars action in it. Uh, yep. the story was kind of kind of cool um my biggest critique i think is just that it didn't feel star warsy mm. honestly um it's like yeah. i said in the beginning a padawan turned you know into a punk rocker and uh yeah. it's got a lot of rock music that's not even nowadays rock music we're talking like you know late 90s early sure. 2000s punk rock and um and it's i mean then that's interesting and there's there's some some of the more caring about your neighbor and protecting and that kind of element, I guess, in the, in sure. the thing. But, but the overall story didn't feel very like it necessarily needed to reside in Star Wars. That's my initial thought. I did like being able to see, obviously, Jabba the Hutt and, um, <laughs> Boba. and Boba Fett. And Boba, Boba Fett, Fett turning into a spaceship and then back into <laughs> Boba Fett. I don't know what happened there. No, he just, very... he just like called a spaceship to him. Oh, that's what he was that doing what he on was his doing? on his watch oh, okay. or, or his thing or whatever. Shot. Yeah, I'm obviously confused. It was, <laughs> yeah, there was a little bit, but uh, <laughs> but no, he was actually voiced, I believe, by either he, he was that voiced or a very good by the same guy that yeah. did Boba Fett, or he was voiced by very good impersonator. A very good impersonator. Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what about you? So my first thought uh, coming out that I decided about. About halfway, I should have figured it out a lot sooner, but I had the thought while watching it that we are not the target audience of this episode. <laughs> uh, and that and that I think is is one of the biggest things that we should say about this episode is that we're, we're not the target audience. The target audience is much younger audience. Mm -hmm. I would say probably junior high age is probably its target uh, or high school maybe. Uh, not that it couldn't be enjoyed by a wider range. I'm not trying to like insult your intelligence, you know, if oh, you're no. like 48 year old dude or whatever and loved it or whatever. Uh, I didn't hate the episode. Um, it, it was, it was not as strong and not just because of tone. Like I don't mind some comedy and stuff. Like I, mm. I'm very cool with comedy and cool with a little bit of silly comedy. If, as long as it works, um, that's fine. The thing again, like what Jonathan said, I think the thing that I didn't like was it, it, it took the, it took you out of the start. Like we started out with, this Padawan, clearly a Padawan, right, with his Padawan braid and whatever, and lightsaber, and he's and he running away from running the away from what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe Some kind of... something, and, yeah. and and then and then he 
is now in this punk rock band, and and he supposedly has gone through a lot with this hut, whatever his name mm-hmm. was, Bozo the Hut or whatever, uh, whatever he was, the slug, very much slug. It's it, that that was honestly kind of interesting. I I I I don't know if I like it or don't, but it's it's interesting that they took the. Other than Java himself, they with this this bass was he a bass player? I don't even know. Whatever the heck he played, mm-hmm. the slug in the band, uh, he was very slug like, mm-hmm. and so I, I guess he's supposed to be kind of young, like a like a. But it's very different than he other didn't. takes we've had of younger huts in like yeah. Clone Wars and, and Rebels and such, which is fine. Like where this is, clearly I think part of it that thing, has but, to do with the animation style too. But, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Um, uh, and it's, yeah, so it was, it was fun. It was interesting. Uh, my favorite thing was, was actually my, my favorite thing was thinking about where this takes place. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I liked it, but I don't know that there was anything that blew me away in this episode. Uh, it, uh, there was the, the plot honest. I mean, okay. Real, real talk here. The, I, the plot was really stupid. <laughs> In my opinion, I mean, it, it like the whole. It was very pedantic. It was very, yay, we're gonna say we're gonna save people through the power of music. I don't know. I've I've decided to be real here, which is good for you and good for me because mm-hmm. you get to know what I think. That way, later you you can trust <laughs> what I believe more. I didn't. I even with that, I didn't hate the episode. Like there were some things that I I enjoyed, and and I wasn't like. And I laughed a few times, legitimately and yeah. ironically, both. <laughs> yeah. I had both types of laugh. Uh, and so I did like that. And uh, one nice thing about this show is it's an anthology show and the episodes are short. And so, like, if this if this episode with that plot had would have been a feature-length thing, I would have hated it a lot, yeah. uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think. Because, uh, yeah, because, again, in my opinion, the plot was really weak. Really, really weak. And I know these are short things, and so that may be... Maybe, maybe more I think if we had spent them. a little bit more time figuring like what they Back went through in development, and, yeah. Honestly, between the slug and the main character, like like the the interchange, I thought there was going to be a little bit more in the interchange where they went back to show him sitting there and him and the slug asking him, "What are hand, you?" You mean a handshake is not enough? Yeah, the hand <laughs> the handshake was not enough. If if there had been at least a little dialogue sure. or like or or like a series of events that happened with the two of them and him him covering covering him up and or covering him up but keeping him from getting caught and all these things yeah. uh, who he was running from and yeah yeah was, yeah I, I thought early on that this is until until I saw until I, it dawned on me that we have Boba Fett in here and we saw Tatooine with the big pod racing uh, amphitheater thing mm-hmm. uh, my first thought was this is this is gonna be set like really right after order 66. And this mm. is a Padawan that has escaped, and it definitely could that's, that's what I thought it was, but it's clearly not. Uh, with those, with those other things, I mean, we know this is not canon, right? So it's, I mean, it could be, yeah, could be but, whatever. So who knows? Yeah, but yeah, I, it was. I mean, it's watchable. Uh, it's not my favorite, I, but I'd say definitely it's probably. You said target audience junior high, high school. I'd say even younger than that. Like I could think be. if your elementary kids want to watch this, even younger oh yeah, than they could for sure. They could definitely watch it, and they probably. Would I just enjoy don't know if that's it. their their target. But yeah, yeah, I agree but with that. Yeah, young it's kids easily. could watch this yes, easily. It's easily. Um, yeah. Okay. And there, I mean, there's absolutely nothing in it. No, yeah, no content. Uh, lots of music, saw. lots of music. Yep, and, and clean and, music. Yeah. yeah, just and good lyrics, you know, or pop positive lyrics, clean lyrics, positive, clean all lyrics. that. Yeah, yeah, yep, absolutely. So uh, art style, that. as far as we kind of already talked about, it, it's not it's really. Right. It's yeah, it's okay. It's it's not as majestic as the first episode. If you're looking for fantastic anime art, you're not going to find it in this episode. Um, in my opinion, if you're if um, you're looking for stereotypical anime art, yeah, then this is, this this is, is the, one. the one. That's right. So yeah. that was our thought. Uh, like, comment, yeah. subscribe below. Tell us what you thought about this episode. Yeah. We're terribly wrong, and why we're terribly wrong. Yeah. Or if you agree, or yeah, if whatever. We didn't mention something that was really cool. I'm sure there's lots of these. We we've, we've only watched these. Ep- we're all, when we do these videos, we're only watching them once, and then yeah. We'll, so we're probably you know, missing some Easter, Easter eggs. eggs. And I'm sure that I'm we're sure there's lots. So if you Want to discuss some of that in the comments below? Definitely. You're welcome to do so. And we'll discuss it with you. Awesome. See you later. Later. Bye.